Hi, this is Toby at Cuddle, and in this video I'm going to show how to make these laser cut keychain designs. I recently shared this Cuddle project that lets you type in an arbitrary string of text and make a keychain. And you can change the font, you can change things like the letter spacing or where the keyring hole is. And when you have a design you like, you can just click download SVG and send that to your laser cutter. So if you just want to make a design like this, just go to this keychain generator. I'll share the link in the description below. But if you'd like to learn how to make a design like this from scratch in Cuddle, or if you'd like to learn how to make variations on this, then keep watching. So I'll start with some text. So you drag text out from the left sidebar and you can change what it says in this field on the right. So I'll just type in what I want the keychain to say. I can change the font. Uh, you can pick whatever font you want. I'm gonna go with this one. You can change the size of the text. Uh, you could also type in a number here if you wanted to resize it to a certain size. Uh, change the letter spacing. So that's how you make the text. Since we're going to be engraving this text, I'm going to, uh, down here, turn off the stroke and turn on a fill. And I'll set my fill color to something. Um, generally, I'll set a fill color if I'm going to be engraving. It's just sort of a convention, and I'll use a stroke for when I'm cutting out a shape. So next, I want to put sort of an outline or offset around the text so that it's bigger than the text itself. So I'm going to duplicate this text object, so I now have two text shapes here. I'm going to take this one uh, behind the other one and go to Modify Expand to make it bigger. And the Expand modifier has a distance parameter that you can change, how far offset it is from the original shape. Um, I'll also change this join parameter to be round, which will uh, round the corners rather than having sharp corners uh, on the expanded shape. And if I want this to be cut out, maybe I don't want it to have a fill, but I want it to have a stroke, um, then I'll select the text. I was on the expand, but instead I'll select the text and turn off fill, and turn on stroke with black hairline. So, um, oh, and then one more thing. The expand, if it's too small, will have holes in it. And I don't want these holes, so I can just put on a modify remove holes modifier. So turn that on, and then the remove holes will get rid of the holes that... Um, so I start with the text, and then it's expanded, and then I'm removing the holes. So I get that, and then, so this would cut out just fine and it would engrave. The next thing I want to do is I want to add a keychain ring hole for the keychain ring to go through. So to do that, I'm going to be using um, the flatten modifier. And um, so to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off, or I'm going to hide the engraved text. And this part, um, so when you're using the flatten modifier, you make everything with fill or with non-hairline stroke, and you make it either black or white. And then the black is where the material is, and the white is where holes are. So if I select this, um, I'm going to turn off the stroke and instead have a fill, and I'll have a black fill. So there's going to be something like this. So that's all going to be material. 
And then I'm also going to have a circle that's going to be the keychain ring. And that one, I'm going to use a non-hairline stroke. So I'm going to turn off hairline on the stroke so that I can change how thick the um, how thick this keychain ring is going to be. I'm going to zoom in a bit and change the size. Um, and then if I put it over this, I also want to have it have a white fill so that it covers up this little area right there. So I'm going to turn on fill and make that white. Um, so the white fill would, you know, overlap whatever it was on. I'll put it somewhere like that. Um, so now basically the, this is going to be what I want to cut out. Um, what is currently black uh, fill and black non-hairline stroke here. So I'm going to select both of those shapes and use the flatten modifier, which will automatically sort of get me the outline of anything that's black and white. And if I turn on this stroke result parameter, then I can see that outline. And so that's exactly the cutout that I want. I will show this one again. I just made it visible. So there you have it. That's how you would design from scratch the keychain. So next I'm going to show how to make a keychain from an arbitrary starting SVG rather than just text. So I like to use the noun project to find um, icons or sort of simple black and white SVGs. So the noun project lets you search and then download various icons. And so if you download this, then you can bring it into Cuddle. So in Cuddle, to bring in an SVG, we can go to File, Import SVG, and then find the file. And then it'll come in. We can then, say, resize it. Uh, I think it should be about one and a half inches high. Now, I want to do the same thing that we did uh, previously with the text. So I'm going to give this one an uh, engrave color, a fill color. And so I'll check fill, which will then um, change the fill of everything within this group. The SVG gets imported as a group of, of paths. So I can change that to something like that. So that'll be my engrave. And then I'll do the same thing. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to take this one in the back and expand it. And we'll do the same thing to um, make the keychain ring and remove the holes. So first I'll remove the holes, modify, remove holes, and that'll get rid of that part in the middle. I'm going to hide the one in front that's going to be engraved. And then this one, I'll select it and change the fill color to black. And then I want to put the ring on it. So I'll bring out a circle, make it smaller, check, uncheck hairline so that it has some thickness to it. Make it a bit smaller than that. And I'll give it a white fill so that I can overlap the llama portion and I don't have to worry about it messing my inner ring. So something like that. I'll select the both of these shapes. So there's the sort of llama outline and the ring. 
So I'll select both of those and do modify flatten and turn on stroke result. So then I get this shape that will be cut out and I'll turn on what my engrave is. And here's what it looks like cut out of maple plywood. Thanks for watching.